Hello everyone, today I am here to talk to you guys about the Typology Tinted Serum. So I, I'm using this in shade 2, Type 2 Light. The nice thing about this product is that if you think you're between two colors, you can buy one and then get a second color half off. So I'm going to talk about my four usual foundation topics in this video. We're going to look at the consistency, the level of coverage that you get with this. I'm going to talk a little bit about its wearability, and I'll get to that in just a second. And then if I can, I'll compare it to any other products that are similar that I have tried and let you know which one I prefer. Regarding wearability, so I really originally tried to film my traditional traditional time-stamped wear test with this so I could let you guys know what I thought about it. I got halfway through that and I decided to just do an application and demo video for you instead because it is a serum. It's not a foundation. It's not going to wear like a foundation if you have oily skin. So I did have it on the whole day but I did have to oil blot several times and touch up on powder. So if you have oily skin and you're wanting to wear this as like a day long sort of natural makeup look, just go in with that expectation, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I have my usual base products on my face and a little bit of concealer. I always have those linked down below for you. This is a fully liquid product. Consistency is gonna be very, very watery. You can see we've got an eyedropper here. And really, I'd say about two drops, maybe three, are enough to do your whole face. So I'm gonna start with this, but just take a quick look. You can see how that's sliding down the back of my hand. Now, it is not as watery as some of the more liquidy um, foundations that I have tested for you guys in the past. I think because this has some of those good skincare products in it, including vitamin C, olive squalene, and aloe vera, it gives it a little bit more of a serum-y consistency as opposed to something that is water-based, if that makes sense. For application, I really like to use a brush. However, I would not recommend dipping and applying because you're gonna run the risk of your bristles really absorbing it. The same is true of a sponge. So what I've found I like to do is actually get my finger in it and then get it onto my face first and then use the brush to spread it around from there. So as I'm getting this applied, let's start talking coverage. I would say it's more than sheer, but less even than light coverage. Let me zoom you in and show you as I go in on my cheek. So you can see I've got a little bit of redness here. I put some color corrector on my veins that run along my jawline there, but I'm gonna take this and just dot that along. And then the other secret with the brush is to blot it in as opposed to pushing it around. I find that that also gives you a nice dewy, dewy glow. It blends it out really nicely, but you're also keeping most of it on your skin instead of losing it into the bristles of your brush. Okay, so that's that cheek done. And you can see it gives me a little bit of a dewy glow. It gives me a little bit more of an even skin finish, whereas over here you can still see some of my discoloration, my veins, some redness. Whereas over here now I feel like I've just got a nice, glowy, more even skin tone. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face here and then we'll take a look at the whole finished product. So it does look like I have something on my face, giving me this really well-rested, very dewy look. I mean, look at that reflection on my cheek. So I feel like it really does work as a serum should in the sense that it makes my skin look really healthy. And in terms of coverage, we're talking about more of like an evening out of the skin tone than we are actually creating a base on which to go in with your blush, bronzer, highlighter, etc. I feel like with that full coverage foundation, what you're really creating is a foundation, a canvas to go in with more artistic, heavier makeup. With something like this, I feel like we're just going for that well-rested, freshly back from vacation kind of a glow. So I'm not gonna go in with any really heavy makeup on this, but what I am gonna add is a little bit of a wash to the cheeks and then some powder as I already talked about. So to keep it really light and natural looking, I'm gonna go in with this Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid cheek color in the shade Cherub. I did an entirely separate video for this, but I figured since we're going in with really light wash of color kind of stuff with a very liquidy feel, that this liquid blush would be perfect for that. And the way that I do this is I take a stippling brush and I dip right in and I just kind of give myself a little wash of color onto the cheek. So you see it really doesn't add a ton of color. It lets that glow from the serum come through, but it does give me just a little bit more of that pinkish cheek hue that when people see you, it makes them wonder, are you wearing makeup? Or are you not wearing makeup? Too hard to tell. 
So in terms of setting powder, whenever I have on a dewy or glowy sort of base, I wanna let that continue to shine through. So going in with a really heavy mattifying powder is not my favorite thing to do. So I like the Beauty Blender Soft Focus Gemstone Setting Powder. And the reason for that, I'll get a little on my brush and try to show you as I'm speaking about it. So it's a powder and it is kind of setting your face a little bit, but it's giving a radiant finish as opposed to a mattifying one. And I feel like when it comes to powders, that can be a really difficult thing to find. So there you see, got a nice soft glow finish with this powder. So I'm gonna get a little bit of help from this in terms of oil control while still maintaining that dewy radiant finish. So a note about wearability, as I already kind of covered for you guys, it's not gonna hold up the way that a foundation does, not even with a layer of powder like we just went in with, and I really don't even think with a layer of powder that would be a heavier powder, and here's why. Because it's a serum that's been tinted, a powder isn't really going to set it the way that you're gonna set a foundation. Think about going in with powder over top of skincare, right? It doesn't necessarily make sense. I feel like part of the reason this gives me such a healthy glow, a well-rested look, is that those skincare ingredients are setting into my skin. So going in with the powder is really more about oil control for me, my oily skin, than it is about setting the makeup. So in terms of longevity and wearability, if you have dry to combination skin, I think that this is gonna last a lot longer for you than it does for me. If you have the oily skin, like I said, expect to need those oil blotting sheets about every three hours and a little bit of a powder touch up between three and six hours. So in terms of a comparable product, you guys, I don't have anything in my current makeup collection that is quite like this. I have a couple of really liquidy foundations that run like this, but I do not have any tinted serums. I've got serums, but none that are tinted like this that create the same effect. So this is just a really unique product. If you have seen this, I recommend that you go check out their page. I will link the exact color that I am using in the box down below. And don't forget, they have that really awesome deal where if you're between two shades, you can get the second shade half off so that way you can kind of mix and create your own color. That's where I'm gonna leave you guys for today. Very fun, fresh, summery makeup using this Typology Tinted Serum. I really like it. I love the skincare in the makeup. I do wish that I could find a skincare makeup that lasts for a really long time. Some of them do, some of the heavier coverage foundations that have the hyaluronic acid and other good, good for your skin ingredients that I've tested for you guys in the past, but some of those are just a little bit too heavy for me in the summertime. So, loving this. Hope you give it a try. Let me know what you think if you do, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.